virtual tour of Leland. Um, this is my third try, and it hasn't worked the last two times, so this is my last final try. I'm just going to take you on a quick tour on the outside of Leland. Driveway. Well, his, this is the road coming down from the village, and then here we've got two gateways. One is my sister's house here, which was an old uh, village hall and skittle alley. And this side is the way into my dad's. Some nice big trees up here. These are ash trees. Where we've got a massive rookery every year. It's been there for years and years. And years. So. Her partner did up very nicely, completely on his own, and it's maintained a lot of the original features, including inside it's got a beautiful wooden roof and everything. And then we quickly go through this little gate, which is hard to open, and it takes us into Dad's garden. And so it's very handy, you can see this is the house and the garden. And lots and lots of lovely birdies and there's lots of sparrows and swallows at the moment and then you can see the two styles of house here this is the really old end that's my bedroom and then there's a bit of a newer side there with a nice front door rhubarb over there dad's pride and joy beautiful lupins table which we don't sit at because the weather's too bad and dad's beans. So let's go down here on the steps. There's some original old flagstones here all the way along which is nice. And they go all the way along the drive there. That's, that's the way in. And that's the what was the piggery which burnt down. So it's got a sort of strange different roof <coughs> than the of it. This is the front garden. There's fields over there with the cows. Over there is the sheds. Sheds which were put up um, to make it easier to sell the two halves of Peter's farm and Dad's house. bench. In here we've just got loads of logs. We just have old sheds here. Going to goats. Now it's full. It's just these big sheds which you keep constructed on wood. Sometimes the horse. So it's got loads of Never short of a log. So back through here. A couple more sheds. This is the back door. It's my room up there, so I've got that room and that bit on the end there. So that's my bedroom here. And that's the lounge bit. That used to be my room up there. The stables. Dove cuts were jackdaws nest. And then through here, taking you right around. is what we used to keep calves in here. It must have been lived in once because it's got a um, bread oven. So it was an old, I don't know what it was, it must have been a little house. Now it's rubbish, oil. And the 
there are swallows' nests up there. <whistles> Not making any noise now. It's fun to watch them zoom in and out the gate. And then we just go down around here. Yeah. To the back of the house, another little courtyard, another little shed. Uh, washing line, that was an old toilet originally, and then there's another door here with some very nice stained glass. <coughs> there's a few windows with stained glass in the house, and just around, right around. So we've done a full circle almost. You can see the back of Sarah's house, and um, just a gap there between. Dad's house and Sarah's house. And up behind us, it's got the village. So that's the tour. I'm going to stop there and I'll maybe make another one. And uh, because it's very short, so that's the end of the outside. Bye.